German leader is a rotten liverwurst and he must ask for forgiveness from Ukrainians. Medvedev German Chancellor Olaf Scholz must ask for forgiveness from Ukrainians for playing a role in plunging their country into misery and helping to revive Nazi ideology, former Russian President Dmitry Medvedev has said. Writing on Telegram, Medvedev, who now serves as Deputy Chairman of the Security Council of Russia, lashed out at Scholz, who argued that President Vladimir Putin must finally realize that Ukraine is strong and will not be forced to its knees or forced to surrender. He went on to say that there can only be a just peace for Ukraine, adding that working for peace does not mean simply raising the white flag while reiterating Berlin's commitment to supporting Kiev. In response, Medvedev called Scholz a rotten liverwurst, who he said unexpectedly became chatty and talked outright drivel. The former president claimed that Ukraine has become a kind of dominion directly controlled by the United States and NATO countries, adding that Kiev is fully on the Western payroll and is receiving all kinds of the most lethal weapons despite the protests of its own people. So where does this strength come from? Sausage maker? From exuberant corruption which is completely out of control? From the wholesale theft of this aid by the Zelensky clique? Or from a dying people, half of whom live in Russia and Europe? Medvedev asked. Scholz should get down on his knees and repent before the Ukrainians for lying to them that they could achieve victory against Russia and for dooming them to the slaughter while sacrificing the well-being of the Germans, according to the former president. The German chancellor should also take responsibility for the revival of Nazism in Ukraine, his own indescribable mediocrity of management and the loss of public confidence in his social democratic party, which makes his pre predecessors Willy Brandt and Helmut Schmidt turn over in their graves many times over. Medvedev said, the former Ukrainian ambassador to Germany Andriy Melnik once called Scholz offended liverwurst. In 2022, the envoy said the chancellor was behaving not very statement-like after he refused to visit Kiev following Ukraine's criticism of President Frank-Walter Steinmeier. Melnik was sacked following the remarks. A cutting-edge Russian Su-57 multipurpose fighter jet was struck at the Aktobinsk airfield in Russia's Astrakhan Oblast, 589 kilometers from the war zone in Ukraine, on June 8. Defense Intelligence of Ukraine reported this, referring to satellite images of the aircraft parked at the airfield. Defense Intelligence of Ukraine observed that images from June 7 show the Su-57 intact, while images dated June 8 reveal craters from the explosion and distinct fire marks caused by the strike. The hitting of the Su-57 is the first such case in history. The Su-57 is a Russian cutting-edge fighter jet, capable of firing KH-59 and KH-69 missiles. Russia's aerospace forces have only a handful of these combat aircraft in service. While the United States and its NATO allies have the fifth-generation all-weather stealth multi-role combat Lockheed Martin F-35, the Russian equivalent is the Sukhoi Su-57, NATO reporting name Felon. Originally called the T-50, before changing the name to the Su-57, the aircraft suffered from numerous delays and made its maiden flight on January 29, 2010. Ten prototype aircraft were built for testing purposes, but structural cracks were discovered on the airframes. This further set the project back and led to a redesign incorporating more composite material and a slightly longer wingspan. Further issues and accidents during testing led to the Su-57 introduction being pushed back from 2015 until 2020. Ukrainian special services regularly shoot down Russian aircraft. For example, the fighters of the 110th Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces shoot down Russian Su-25 practically every week. Among the significant targets, the downing of an A-50 and the damaging of an IL-22 should be noted. RBC Ukraine reported on January 14, citing sources in the Defense Forces, that the Ukrainian Armed Forces shot down a Russian A-50 aircraft over the Azov Sea and damaged an IL-22.
Субтитры